they're so worried about people trying to attack each other's accounts or something that we have to do all this two-factor auth auth well, how do you say it authentication what is it auth authentication authentication he's not listening to me authentication and it's taking forever so hello my friends good morning uh it is thursday time for another crafting corner with stephanie and uh the reason why i clapped was because when we used to do our videos 10 years ago uh or 11 years ago actually 11 and a half years ago now uh, Ken needed a, what was it like for your sound to match up the sound? It was that it, Kenny. Is that why I had to do that? There was a reason. There was a reason he's ignoring me. Um, but there was like a sound thing. And, uh, so he would always say, make sure you do a loud clap so I can match the sound on each camera. So I do it ever since. And he's like five or six years ago. He's like, okay, I don't need you to do that anymore. And I still do it. But the funny thing is, is this is not even be, this is all live. And so I don't need a sound clapper, but I did it anyway. Just trying to explain all of that to you. Sorry. Uh, so we're a little late. I apologize. We're gonna jump right in to make a card because uh, Ken keeps shaking his head over there and I have no idea why he's shaking his head. So it sounds like we're, um, I don't even know what he's doing. Anyway, uh, let's see, any updates really quick. Uh, I taught the kids, oh, this is funny. So you guys know that I have an infatuation, infatuation with um, Ready Whip Whipped Cream. Uh, Tiffany came over that one time and spent the weekend with us and she saw like four of these in our fridge and she's like, uh, what is all the whipped cream for? And I, I laughed and I said, I literally, this is like what I eat. Like I eat whipped cream. I just throw it in my mouth and that's like my breakfast sometimes. And it's just a quick trip, quick, quick, like little pick me up. And I've taught the babies to like whipped cream. So I squirted it in their mouths. And the other day they were at our house and they have these cute little high chairs that they stay in at our house. They're, they're not really high chairs there. They're little chairs. I don't even have my, um, I don't even see a live on mine, Kenny, by the way. Um, we, uh, hopefully I'm talking to people. Did you get an announcement or anything on this? Cause I have not even gotten anything on mine. So I'm probably not even talking to people right now. Do you see it live anywhere? Uh, so I've taught the babies to actually like the whipped cream. And so we have them on these cute little chairs and then they sit on this little table and uh, it sounds really bad, but it's very safe. Don't worry. And so I open the fridge and Liam starts watching me and then I show him the can like this and he goes, oh, 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 oh. he gets so excited. Miller, he's just like, he stink eyes me. He just goes, uh whatever grandma but Mil uh, Liam gets so excited and he'll open it huh he goes like a little baby bird uh, and I squirt in his mouth and Miller's like eh. he doesn't Miller doesn't even want any so I guess Miller doesn't like sweets I'm still not seeing myself on here is there um have you found me on on online am I even like online right now Shows it on Facebook. It shows it on Facebook at least. Okay. I'm not seeing it on YouTube. It's not on YouTube. You're off center a little bit. Okay. So we're not worried about YouTube? I'll just turn this off then. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we're just on Facebook. Wow. Okay. So that's my little whipped cream story. Uh, can somebody post on the Facebook fan page that it sounds like we're only on Facebook right now? We were actually having trouble with YouTube on Sunday night and our um, pers people that we contact all our uh, videos upload to said it was a YouTube issue. It sounds like they might be having the YouTube issue still. So those of you that are on Facebook, um, could you chat, um, put in the Facebook fan page, hey, those of you looking on YouTube, go to Facebook. Sorry technology you can never win okay so good exciting news next thursday we have our fun live event that is our online class now i know a lot of you have already purchased the online class that's great we do have a few spots open and if you ordered it today you would get it probably in time as long as you're not international hopefully you would get it in time for the class next Thursday night. Now, uh, one of the items, so there are a whole bunch of fun items come in there. Some of you already have them and you've been playing with them, which is great. One of the fun items in there is the Sweet Treats little, uh, cute little stamp set that they can't see. Okay. He's having major meltdowns over there. Okay. The cute little stamp set, but it also comes with the die set as well. 
which is really fun. But the most popular thing so far, and let me get this so I can show you this. The most popular thing so far is the love fold it that I designed. Now, it's really funny that everybody is like all over this love fold it. And we've gotten tons and tons of emails from people saying, I don't want to do the class. I just want the love fold it. Well, you're out of luck. Uh, it's only available through the class. I realize the class is a little bit more than some people like to spend sometimes. So I highly recommend you use like your club points because club points, remember, can be used towards um, purchases. So that'll bring the cost down. Also, club members, of course, you're getting the club discount. And uh, Dino did all the math on it and it ended up being that uh, if you would have bought all this stuff separately, the class ends up costing you $3. So that's just kind of like, wow, right? That's almost free. Uh, so apparently I'm not worth much. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Uh, so you can switch the camera and then I won't ask you anymore. How's that? Okay. So yeah, I'm only worth three bucks apparently, but this is going to be very popular. We will not be releasing it uh, anytime soon. Um, I'm estimating three years before you could even possibly maybe see this separately. Um, it's just not in the schedule. It's not in the plan. Um, it's like exclusive to the class because that makes it worthwhile for people to buy the class if we have exclusive items. So I don't see this ever being offered separately. Uh, so I just want to give you a heads up on that. So if you want to uh, use your club points, if um, the cost is a little too high out of your budget, I totally get it. I totally understand. Um, so just saying, okay. And the best part is, I don't know why I have this, but uh, the best part is I'm gonna use this to make a quick card today. Now, the fun thing about this um, die also is you can make shakers out of it because I included an extra layering die, which, why did I do that? In all honesty, you wanna know the truth? This is why, I do, oh, crud, I just stepped on my microphone. Um, in all honesty, why did I do that? Because when I designed it this way, look, let me show you this. This was gonna be the shadow originally, and there wasn't much room to actually um, uh, write. So I said, well, if we add another layering die, now it's gonna be a wider base, so now you'll have places to write your message. So that's how that came to about, came about. So that's why there's actually three dies for a fold it instead of normally the two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a fold it, and I'm going to take this die here, the largest die, and I am going to grab some, ooh, let's use Razzleberry, because I never use Razzleberry. Poor Ken's trying to figure out all this crazy technology stuff. Um, and I folded this in half, and then I'm going to score this. Those of you that got my stuff on HSN, I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, I had a... Um, telephone or video, well, they wanted to do a video conference at HSN. And it was four different locations for each, uh, uh, this conference, this phone conference. And I say phone conference because there's no way in the world. First of all, the conference was at 8.30 because that's 11.30 on the East Coast. 8.30 is kind of an early time for Stephanie um, because usually I get out of bed about at 8.30 because you know I my clock is off. My clock is way different than anyone else's. And so I had to ask Ken to wake me up to make sure I was awake at eight o'clock. I was sound asleep at eight o'clock when he woke me up. So I roll out of bed, I get to my computer, I turn it on, I get my Diet Coke and I'm sitting there and I'm in my robe and I'm ready for this phone conference. And I click the button at 8.30 and it's like, no, this is a video conference. No, it's not. It is not a video conference. I assure you, it is not gonna be a video conference. So it took me like six minutes. I had to find my, cause long story. So I had to find my laptop, get my laptop open. And it's like all showing my picture. And of course I snapped that sucker off real fast. Cause there's no way in the world. You should have seen my hair. It was like all out 8.30 in the morning. It's just too early for a phone conference. Anyway, long story short, they uh, mentioned in the phone conference that Stamps of Life is a very highly searched term on their website. And I have all of you to thank for that. Um, I know some of you just go almost every day and just search Stamps of Life. And I know that sounds really crazy, but 
on everything like it's all about algorithms you know that's a new word we never had that word you know 20 years ago or well we might have been math but that doesn't count but you know what and, and so it's all about well you know stamps of life is a really highly searched term so they they're working on trying to get more of our stuff on their website which really won't help you guys because you get the club discount on our website but they want everyday stuff just also on their website which is really exciting because then we can hopefully share stamps of life with HSN customers and that's really exciting for me so I do want to say thank you for um, searching stamps of life e I mean even if you just go there and search when we're live um, I mean when we have new products on there I appreciate it very much so that being said now so what I'm doing here is my fold oh my gosh this totally matches my shirt and I'm going to take this and I'm gonna lay this down right on the inside of this and you can fit this perfectly on there so I'm gonna lay this. actually you know what I'm gonna tape this down just a little because um, I'm having issues lately and the cool thing is is uh, crafters companion sent me new plates for my uh, Gemini machine so I'll be able to use that again um, I just need to line up all the things and make sure I get it right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna run it through make sure it is straight going through and we're gonna run it through um, I'm sorry I can't see any of your chats uh, but uh, modern technology is is wonderful sometimes and horrible other times <laughs> okay so now the fun thing about this one is you know how I usually say oh you need to do another one because it always has a straight edge well the cool thing about this is if you do it on the side you don't need to do a separate one because it's a straight, perfectly straight edge on that L. So that's like awesome, right? So here I have that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the next one and the next layering die. And I am going to do white. Dun, 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 white. And I'm going to do something special with it after I do that. So hang on. So I'm going to die cut this just normal. La, la, la. Just normal die cut this. Um, dun, 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 dun running this through uh just a heads up uh i apologize if you're waiting for an email from phalene i checked this morning and she has 191 emails today um she gets to as many as she can a day the problem is and i know it's not you guys because you guys know but the problem is is we'll have some people email like four or five times and so it for about the same issue <laughs> so if they don't get an answer within an hour they email again and then uh two hours later they'll email again and then they'll say third request fourth request and it's like well it's only been two hours so just saying but uh so she has to she'll she'll work on she always tries to do the oldest first right so she'll work on those and then it'll it then she like 10 emails later she gets the same question from the same person, but she hasn't remembered because that was two hours ago, you know, or whatever. And then she starts to answer it and she goes, wait a minute, I think I already answered this. Then she has to go search it and it, it just slows down the whole process. So if you ever have an issue, just feel free to email us. That's totally fine. We want you to email us if you have an issue, of course, right? We want to fix it. But I just I need you to be patient and just let her answer it. Um, because the more times she has to answer the exact same thing, it just slows down the whole process and then it just makes it even slower, right? And then it's just slower and slower and slower because it keeps building. So, um, we are, we, um, actually added to her schedule. So she's working even more hours in hopes and we've taken other items off of her, um, to-do list so she can focus mostly on customer service and just those emails. So, um, we are trying to work on it internally as well. Okay. So I have my cute little love and then I did my white right and what I'm gonna do with this white is I'm gonna lay this down and some of it's gonna show but not all of it so I can kind of just actually not enough of it's gonna show so I'm not gonna do it I was gonna stamp on this but I'm gonna actually stamp on the next one so I'm going to get uh, la, 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 la. what color should I get next Ooh, I'm gonna get candy let's see let's see what candy looks like oh yeah Okay, so I'm gonna take candy and I'm gonna do the fi final one. This die is thick enough that I don't need to use the adhesive on the back. So I'm gonna save the adhesive sheets for you know more intricate items. You don't need to use it on every card, just the ones that are intricate. So I'm gonna run this through. Now, if you could please make sure you share this video and like this video. We're again, only on Facebook at this time. Um, YouTube is having major issues or, or 
I don't know what's happening, but we're having major issues. Now the love is also really cool because it's all separate letters. So if you are a scrapbooker, you could easily use this love in lots of different ways. You could also even, this is another trick, you could also make a square card and do the L, O, and then do the V, E down below. Actually, that'd be really cool. Hang on, hang on, I wanna see something. So here is a card base, because remember I always have my A2 literally right there, and I wanna see if this will fit. So L, it might not. No, it doesn't fit. Oh, but what if it, well, it's gonna of course fit this way. So if I wanted to do it on a regular card, I could easily do the L, O, V, E on a regular card just to have it be separate. It doesn't have to use the outlines if you don't want to, but it would probably work well on that five by seven base. Where's that? Hang on. Um, so let me grab my five by seven base. That is also easy access. And let's see, I bet you that LOV will fit pretty decent on here. Let's do it this way. L O V, uh, it's still a little off E, but it's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm just playing, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna move that, put that back so it doesn't get lost. I'm getting much better at putting that back. Oh, also, heads up. So when you get your dies, if, if those of you that have signed up for the club, you're gonna get your dies, you're gonna get your stamps, you're gonna go, oh, that's cool, but Stephanie said it came with that love. And, and then you're gonna email Faileen and say, I didn't get that love that's supposed to be in there, and Stephanie said it's in there. Snarky Stephanie's coming out. Uh, yeah, she's gotten a few of those emails. <laughs> Uh, and then some people said, Stephanie says it comes with a heart. It does. It's in between the O. I know. Sometimes we just get so excited. We're like, ah, where's my love? I need my love. And then we go email. I get it. Don't worry. I've done it. I've done it. Don't worry. No, I'm just kidding. Don't worry about it. Okay. So here we have our L-O-V-E. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and I'm going to get out that stamp set. Actually, no, I'm not because, oh, yes, I am because it has cupcakes on it. Oh my gosh, this set is so cute. So I'm gonna grab the little cupcake and I'm gonna grab a little block. And I'm gonna grab this cupcake and I'm going to grab not a dark color. I don't want a dark, where are my ink? Oh, my ink pads are over here. Uh, I don't want a dark color. Let's go, oh, you know what? Let's use Razzleberry because Razzleberry is part of this card. Uh, this is Razzleberry right here. Um, we do have more pink Stephanie bags coming up. I mean, on order. Um, we've decided we really want to keep those in stock. So we did order a whole bunch. The problem is, is we have to order a ton because it's a special order, um, but it's going to be worth it. And then hopefully we'll eventually have them in stock all the time. But as you know, the pink bags are exclusive to us, which is really fun. So I'm going to ink that and stamp it. There we go. If you bought the Gemini machines on the first round, they officially have 100% gone out. I just want you to know that that was a UPS problem. Uh, UPS uh, Crafters Companion sent out, you know, they contacted their UPS guy or person and said, okay, we have this huge order of all these machines. Come pick it up. That was last Thursday. They were supposed to pick it up on Friday. They didn't. They were supposed to pick it up on Monday. They didn't. So finally, the CEO of Crafters Companion had to contact UPS, somebody kind of high up and say, why have you not picked this up? And they're like, oh, well, we're really busy. Wow. And so uh, he's like, well, hello, you need to come pick this up. I mean, hello. And uh, so they finally did, but he had to go back to the office at eight o'clock that night to have them come pick it up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. My customers really appreciate it, but I mean, it should have been shipped a couple days ago. And then um, he's like, yeah, we're looking into FedEx. <laughs> I said, well, you know, you do what you gotta do because that's ridiculous. So they are out there, they're being delivered as we speak off and on, you know. Um, they were coming from California, so you should be getting them soon, which makes me happy um, because we are going to use our Gemini's together pretty soon. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot wait to show you the close up of this. This is so dang cute. Okay. So I'm literally just stamping these little cupcakes, which I'm kind of thinking I need this cupcake in big version now because it's so dang cute. 
Um, Dina, if you heard that, write it down for me so I remember. And so I'm stamping that. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add these cute little guys to my card base. So we're going to add some adhesive. And did you guys notice that lately I've done two light videos and I each time I ran out of adhesive on both. I was like, are you kidding me? It's like you can't make some of this stuff up. So I'm adding that L. Oh, you know what? Stop, stop, stop. What am I doing? What am I doing? I need to add some, hello, I need to add some blending, ink blending on this, baby. So let's grab, do I have, Kenny, do we have Razzleberry little ones yet? Gosh, I don't know if we do. Maybe we do, is that one? Hang on, this is close. One of these, yes. Oh. Poor Kenny's still dealing with garbage. Okay, so here we have oh, these. YouTube is going now. Wow, finally. Sorry, guys. Um, Kenny finally was able to get YouTube going. Um, YouTube doesn't, whose fault was it? Yours or theirs? theirs? Theirs. Oh, good. It wasn't Kenny's fault. That's good. And Kenny would be honest. Okay, so I'm going to um, do this. And I'm adding this cute little... Do you want to um, be, are you able to switch to this um, second camera? Almost. Almost, okay. So I'm just adding blending to the edges and I'm going to show you one letter blended and one letter not ink blended because you're going to fall over and say, yeah, if I, if you don't have these brushes, you need to get them. Um, you don't even have to buy them from me. I don't care where you get them. Just get them. Okay. So I'm going to add these. Uh, add these because I remember when these first came out I'm like yeah I don't need those well yeah you do okay so then I have the V and then I'm gonna do the O and then I'm gonna show you the E not inked so you can see the difference so I'm just going around all the edges oh my gosh you guys it inking just like it makes you look like a professional even if you're not you don't think you're good at it you are okay so now I am going to do this and I want you to see the difference. Oh, hang on. Let me flip this over. Oh, I forgot. I added that adhesive to that one. Okay. So I'm going, Oh, here already turned it. Okay. So hang on. So there's my F L O V E. And then I want you to see the E separate. I'll hold it up so you can kind of see. So look at the difference. See, look, you can even just, when you first take a first glance, you don't even see the E because it's not like highlighted. It's not, Oh, Whoa, sorry. Scared me. Okay. So hang on there. So the E is like totally, oh, hang on, put it closer. Totally different in, in, in everything because it just doesn't look, it's not as like pretty, right? It just doesn't look like it belongs. So you want to fix that by adding it to the E also. And so we're adding, but it's fun because I did these in the same color ink. So the, the cupcake is the same color ink as the blending. And so it just kind of adds fun. Okay. So there we go. And I feel like, okay, no, those are all good. Okay, so now let's put this away. Put that over there. Oh, everybody always asks. This is the Sue bag that I keep my brushes in. <laughs> Probably don't even have it on the website. But, okay, I mean, we usually sell it, but who knows what's happening. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're adding our L. Oh, so long story short on the whole HSN video thing, um, I was able to uh, make it so they didn't see me. And I just was listening in and talking so they could just hear my voice. And whenever I talked, they just saw SB. <laughs> There's no way in the world they needed to see me in my pajamas, let me tell you. Okay, so O, and then we're gonna add the V. Now, this love is good for anyone because you love your friends, right? You love your spouse or your significant other. You love your parents. You love your children. You There's a lot of things we love, right? So a lot of people we love. Uh, so we're adding this and we're adding this, this, this. And we're adding the E. So, oh, here, this is a good example. So this originally would have been the a2 card, right? And you're like, oh, oh yeah, there's hardly any space because this L, there wouldn't have been space to write on there, right? Not really. So that's why I did that extra shadow. So now when you open it, there's much more space to write. So I'm going to add this right here. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so dang cute. 
Um, it's always fun when I actually just get to play and I don't have to like do it for work. It's more fun. Um, but it is weird because like sometimes I always say this, my hobby is my job and my job is my hobby. So it's kind of weird. Sometimes I'll go, I just want to be creative, but you know, it's like, I, I'm like, oh, well, I might as well do this because then that'll also be good for work, but it's also being creative. It's kind of weird. It's awesome. It's an, a most amazing blessing in the world. You know, they always say, find something that you love and do that for your job. And then you'll never work a day in your life. And everybody's like, shut up. Well, actually it's true <laughs> because let me tell you, um, I don't know if, if, I mean, I, I love Kenny and I love doing what we do. So what you doing, baby? Trying to make me more centered. Okay. So here is my cute little love. And if I didn't have the um, prototype and I had the real die, I could use the little cute little heart that's in the center right there. But I'm not going to right now just because. But look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's so cute. I love it. So that, oh, no pun intended. <laughs> so that is the Sweet Treats class. We do have a very, very, very limited number left on that. Um, if you were to order it today, there's a good chance you would get it in time because they would probably be, still be able to ship it today and then you would get that in time for the class. But the class is next Thursday. If you're not able to watch it live Thursday, that's okay. We won't hold it against you. Um, you can watch it as many times as you want afterwards because after the class is over and it uploads to the internet, then it will always be in your account. So you'll just log into your account and watch that video um, as many times as you want. Uh, let's see. Um, Kenny, are you able to see any chats now that um, we are officially kind of like online now? I mean, I'm going to get mine. Yeah, the YouTube ones are. The YouTubes are finally online now. Okay, let's see. I'm going to ask Kirsten if I can videotape Liam going, getting all excited for the um, whipped cream. I have to ask her. She's a poor child is going crazy trying to pack her entire house. Um, I've only been on 25 minutes. Kenny says I have to keep shooting the breeze. Is that it? Um, uh, let's see. I want to tell you. Uh, oh, I'm doing. Oh, hang on. Can you. Um, Oh, can you hand? Oh, Kenny, can you hand me one of those baskets right there? I can show them a sneak peek. I know they love sneak peeks. Um, actually, it's the basket that has. It's the third basket. He's jump. He's laying down. Third basket. Third basket. Because we're videotaping later today for our our um, all of our stuff. But I wanted to show you. This is gonna. So this is gonna be available February seventh which sounds far away, but really it's like down the street. It's like literally right there. And we are releasing some St. Patrick's Day stuff. So let me show you this. Well, that one doesn't, hang on. I gotta show you one that really you can tell. Oh, okay. So <coughs> we are releasing a shamrock die, fold it. Here it is. It's because it's more of a square shape because it's kind of like an awkward shape. Um, so this is what it looks like. And it's coming with those dots, but the dots are optional. So you don't have to use the dots. Here's an example of it on a card. So you can see, look at that, that's in pretty foil. Isn't that big? It's a nice large shamrock, perfect also for banners. So that is because you can use it with the dots or without. So that's like an optional die. We are also on that day releasing, and I can't show you, so we're just gonna have to use your imagination because it's gonna be really awesome, is we are going to be releasing a sport set for sports. So don't think motocross because obviously it's gotta be a wide audience, but you're gonna love the sports. Those of you have that have boys in your life, uh, you're going to really love that. And sports fanatics, there's going to be another release on, I want to say the 15th of February. That's going to have home decor sports stuff plus other home decor stuff in, I think the 15th, February 15th, I believe. I'm trying, I'm going off the top of my head and I'm not quite sure, but I think it's February 15th. Uh, so we have a lot of fun things coming. Um, let me check in really quick and see Everybody's saying St. Patrick's Day for my kids. Yes, yes. And um, there's more St. Patrick's Day besides that too, just so you know, just so you know. Um, somebody said football, football. Um, 
When is the next HSN? Jeannie, the next HSN where I go on TV is in March. They are doing a February digital event and the February digital event, I don't know when that is. But Kenny hasn't even shipped it yet. When do you ship that? You ship that two weeks still, right? You don't ship that for two more weeks? What's that? The February event stuff? Uh, the Easter egg, the Easter egg and stuff like that for HSN. Yeah, I'm thinking, I don't know when they said. Yeah, it must be the end of February because literally he doesn't ship it for two more weeks, so that's weird. Uh, oh, Kate O'Brien says, "I know you're surprised that I would like the shamrock. That was funny, Kate. Because <laughs> get it, guys, O'Brien. That's like, you know, Irish. Yeah, okay. Um, I got it. Uh, let's see. Oh, and yes, hello, guys. I'm sorry." Um, she asked if this was on HSN. No, this is going to be on our website. This is going to be on our website. The Shamrock stuff is going to be on our website. Um, yes, yes. Um, when does the February calendar month kit come out? The day I get it. The day I get it. So the day it's in stock is the day it's going to come out. I don't care what day it is, that's the day it's going out. And what we're gonna do is, Kenny doesn't even know this yet, we're gonna do a live event that day. Well, not an event, but I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna hop on camera and do a live. So as long as you get your notifications, if I go live on Facebook or live on YouTube, you will find out the second it goes live, you'll get that notification. And I'm gonna say, guess what, it's live, go get it now. Um, and literally they air freighted it to me. And let me tell you, the amount of money I have to pay to air freight from China is out of this world. <sighs> but obviously we need it sooner. So uh, I'm trying to get that. The good news is, is they've released, Mar they ship March at the same time. So March will be released February 15th. I guess I should put that on my release schedule. February 15th, Kenny, the March is coming out. We gotta add that to that video. Um, but February, literally the second I get it, the second I get it, it'll go on the website. Um, how much is the February calendar kit? It is going to be the same as the January. I think it's $13.99 and then you get the club discounts, I believe. I, I don't know if I know that off the top of my head. Um, oh, Kathy says she just opened her kit and she got her shopping bag. You're welcome. You're welcome, my love. I actually used my shopping bag the other day. What did I use it for? Where was I going? I don't remember. I used it for something. I was like, oh, I'm so glad I have this shopping bag. Um, uh, yes, and Ponzi says air freight is very expensive right now because ocean is backed up. Yes, it is. You guys know I sometimes get to go to the beach and literally I was there. I was kind of nearby there yesterday. So I looked and you could see the, um, the container ships out there waiting to go to port. They're just like literally out in the ocean. I think I've talked about that before. You can see them literally out in the ocean waiting to go to port. So they're just sitting there. It's weird. It's all backed up. Everything is just backed up crazy. Um, so let's see. Uh, Jan Jana just got her kit yesterday. Yay. Um, let's see. Uh, the extras in the card kit club are so cute this month. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, and just a heads up on the kit club. Uh, you know how we did all those Ken freebies last year. We have a Ken freebie scheduled for March. Okay. A Ken freebie is scheduled for March. Just a heads up. Another freebie in March. Um, the bag is gorgeous. Jeannie says, um, I'm changing my theme color to pink. Oh, thank you. Oh, Cynthia says, I'm glad I made it. My students are taking a quiz, so I'm just sitting here supervising. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, uh, Deborah says, no tracking for my Gemini order. Yes, I thought they were going to be able to send that to you, and there's no way that um, they can automatically send that to you. But they, if you ordered on the first day, they have all gone out. So if you haven't gotten it within a week of today, so what's today, Thursday? So by next Thursday, if you have not gotten it, you can email feeling. Um... Uh, Wanda says, are you doing a cookie card on air? Mine was shipped. Not yet, but I will. Um, a fish tank fold it, Gloria. That would be a cute idea. Uh, YouTube is up and running, finally. Yes, thank you. Um, 
<laughs> Love Color says, I am so excited with the cookie folded, I may have to wallpaper the room. Let me tell you, I know, isn't that cute? Oh, and by the way, I've gotten quite a few little goodies in the mail lately, my friends. You guys are spoiling me way too much. But Shirley and Kathy, I'm mainly thinking about you. I'm going to show that on Monday's video, okay, because it's in the kitchen. I mean, it's on my table in the kitchen. But um, I want to say you thank you very much from both of you. Um, Shirley, I got yours um, sent to me on Monday because um, I get my mail after everybody at the office gets it. But I got mine on Monday. And Kathy, I got yours last night. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you. And I'll be showing those off on Monday on Monday. Um, M Monkey Head Bonker says that co cookie folded is ridiculously cute. Well, I think I know why you like it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, ordered cookie yesterday. Bella will need to send you a card. Yes, she will. She will need to send us a card. Um, YouTube is a bit blurry, but sound is good. Isn't that crazy? YouTube must be having major issues or something. I do not get it. I do not get it. So let's see. Kenny, have you thought of anything that I need to um, mention or talk about? Oh, there's some questions like, where did that love die come from? Where did the love die come from? The love die is in the online class called Sweet Treats. That will be next Thursday. And you ha there's a few left on the website, so you do have a chance to still get those. Uh, don't forget, you can also use your club points towards that purchase if you want to, uh, to bring that cost down if it's a little cost prohibitive for you, I understand. But it works out to be the class is only $3. So apparently I'm only worth three bucks. <laughs> kidding <laughs> i won't take it personally <laughs> what's another question kenny um where can we get your shirt where can you get my shirt I, if you're a club member you can log into your account and under the club point section i think is that right i think there's a section on the side called club points i know we are running low on some sizes i highly recommend you order higher than what you bigger than what you normally wear so for example i usually wear sometimes a smaller medium this is actually medium and it's very fitted um so i recommend and you know what usually you want t-shirts larger anyway because you want more room um so i recommend you go up a size or two um and it looks i think i might need to order some more of those coming soon so um also we have remember that one thing kenny we haven't released this can you write this down that um uh the mouse pad hasn't been released yet on the club points. We need to release that. Uh, yeah, there's a cool mouse pad. I've been using mine for like three months. <laughs> it's on the website. I just haven't, I haven't um, turned it on. Uh, we do have those flash sale items still available. The cookie fold it, the happy birthday. I think it's called funky happy birthday and the doily are all still on flash sale because I haven't turned them off yet because I forgot. Typical Stephanie. Uh, that's just what happens in my life. Uh, that's what happens when your husband has to wake you up at 8 o'clock in the morning so you can do a conference call at 8.30. That was supposed to be a video. I still can't get over that. Uh, what else, Kenny? Check. He's checking. Any questions on YouTube? Any questions on YouTube? I didn't... Um, uh, February calendar be out. Yes, February calendar, it will be out the second I get it. So as soon as I um, get it, I will do a live video. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're on YouTube and make sure you get those alerts. And I think that means you have to click the little bell or something near our video. So you get an alert when I go live because you are going to want to know the second it comes out because you are going to want to make sure you get it right? ASAP. I am sorry it's not out yet. Um, eventually, once we catch up, because the problem with, is all my fault technically, because I didn't decide I wanted to do this calendar program until about November of last year. And you're thinking, November, it's the middle of January. That's plenty of time. You'd think, right? It's not. Um, usually manufacturing takes about 90 days. And then, oh, did my phone just light up? Oh, my dad's killing me here. Um, uh, you need to answer this text because they're ask, they're trying to deliver that that pallet tomorrow, um, and I know you don't want that. You need to answer it. Um, so, uh, I totally forgot what I'm saying. See what happens is I get these texts and they say, "Oh, can we deliver six pallets to you tomorrow?" No. <laughs> oh 
gosh. Oh, gosh. I totally forgot what I was saying. So somebody remind me what I was saying. Tiffany wants me to come visit her. I want to come visit Tiffany, too. I think the next time I'm homeless, which is going to be April 1st, no fools, um, I'm probably going to go visit Tiffany for a couple days until Ken figures out where we're going to live. <laughs> um, uh, not sure if anyone has asked, but the stand-up words for and on the stand-up cards. Um, we did, the stand-up cards are on HSN still. They have the bundle, which if you guys compare the prices, their price is amazing. Even with your club discount on our website, their price is amazing. Um, any plans for cross country and track stamps and dies? Probably not, PA. Um, I have to be able to have a huge audience for everything. That's why we do everything very general um, in order uh, to appease to enough people because I have, I have minimum orders I have to place and uh, I don't think I could make the, meet those minimum orders. Um, let's see. Uh, will this website show the Gemini has shipped if it did? No, it will not show. It will not show because they they are shipping it directly from their warehouse if if they didn't do that so what happens is, is you order the gemini machine we send that your address only to crafters companion and they ship the machine from their warehouse in california why because it's about 17 to 25 dollars to ship a machine and if they were to ship all of them to us in utah even though i'm not in utah all of us to utah then we shipped it to you we would have to tack on about $25. So in order to keep our price the lowest I think you can find anywhere, they are shipping them directly for us, which is fantastic. But that means that they ship it, and remember I said it went out, what did I say, last night or Tuesday night? Do you remember? I don't remember. It was either last night or Tuesday night. They actually were shipped for the big order if you got this special price. Um, they ship it directly from there and they do send us a spreadsheet of all of the tracking numbers but we have no way to get those tracking numbers to you so if you have not gotten it by next thursday you can email Faylene and we can file you know a, a lost package item but we need to have at least a week to get those to you so next thursday by next thursday you should have it um it's coming ups by the way coming ups ellen says the doily is so dang cute ellen thank you Thank you. I mean, I mean that because when I design those doilies, first of all, doilies are very difficult to design because they have to be perfectly symmetrical. They're kind of like a snowflake, but they're fancier than a snowflake. And in order to keep it perfectly symmetrical, and by the way, we're coming out with more doilies and every single doily is exclusive to us. You're going to have uh, see other companies that have a lot of doilies. Are they really exclusive? Did they really design them or did they go get clip art? We did not use, we don't use clip art like that. So what we did was we literally designed each and every one and it's not easy to design doilies because they have to be perfect, perfectly symmetrical and they have to be in the right foil, file format to get the stamps, I mean, sorry, to get the dies made. So that's why. So it's really, those are really special to my heart because um, doilies are not easy to design. Um, but I, they turned out great. And we have a couple more coming in the future that are all, just as awesome. So they're fun. Um, let's see. Oh, Barbara got her Gemini yesterday. She's in Southern California. So fantastic. They must have gone Tuesday night out. Awesome. That's awesome. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, will there be more Stephanie and Ken dolls soon? I'm trying to get, oh, HSN picked up one of the Steffi dolls. I don't know when it's coming out. They picked up one. Uh, Ken doll, no, but many items are coming as like accessories for the dolls. So, and, and that's funny. I say that because I, I designed them with the dolls in mind, but they're really standalone sets. So if you're not into the Ken and Stephanie dolls, that's okay. These sets are, they, they are their own legitimate set. Like you don't need those, but if you have those, they go really well with those. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense, but it's really awesome because they're like all, oh, this is a XYZ set. Oh, but wait a minute, it matches the Ken and Stephanie dolls. It's like it's sized proportionately. There you go. It's sized proportionately for those dolls also. So that's kind of fun. Um, oh, Sally got her Gemini machine today and she's in Colorado. Fantastic. So they are getting out there, you guys. They are getting out there. Awesome. 
Oh, Stephanie Z said she got hers yesterday. Um, Susan, I did design a draft stamp the other day and my computer crashed on me and I did not reopen the file. So I got to find, can you write down draft stamp? Um, because I'm coming out with a new line. Uh, well, I've designed a new line. When it's coming out, I don't know. But I designed a new line and I made sure this time there was a draft in it, you guys. I made sure there's a draft in it. Actually, yeah, that'll help me remember to um, open that file again and start working on it again. Because you guys, when I design, it's so funny. So when I design, I have like, okay, first of all, I don't know if you guys know this, but my computer screen is a 46 inch TV which sounds funny, but it's my computer screen. And so what I do is I have like one, two, usually four um, screens open on that. And then sometimes, you know how sometimes you have to close your machine, you have to turn off your machine. And if you didn't know that, by the way, you should always turn off your computer at least once a week so everything can like reset. It, it, especially if you're having trouble on a website, including mine, um, turn off your computer and turn it back on. 90% of the time it'll fix your, any issues you're having. But, um, so what happens is I have all these browser windows open and then on my, like, just for example, I design on Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. I usually have an average of 15 files open at the same time. And what I do is I'll go in and I'll work on a set and I'll, I'll like tweak, I'll do tweak and then I'll move on to the next set and then I'll look at it and go, Oh, I'm not going to change anything on that one. Then I go to the next set. Oh, I need to fix this, fix this. So I usually will have a file open on my computer after I've designed it a good week or two for any tweaking because sometimes you know and you know how it is it's like sometimes you're sitting down and you're doing something and then like proof it's like proofreading I'm proofreading it I, I'm proof designing it because I'll come back and go okay I must have been working on that late last night because that does not look right and then I'll go and do you know things like that so I proof design it I like that I proof design it Instead of proof writing, proof reading it, I proof design it. So, uh, but there was one on my computer, and when I shut it down, it didn't come back up. So I'll have to find that. Um, oh, Caroline says only two fish puffy stickers left. Yes, we ran out, and Ken found a little box of more, so we shipped those to Utah. So once those are gone, they're officially gone forever. Um, Oh, everybody's happy about the draft. Good, good. Love the large paper pad this month. Thank you. Andy, you're welcome. You must be a Gold Club member. Can you write that down? Um, we are going to open up any that are left. I think we do have some left. This is the larger pad. We are going to open that up to regular club members now. Um, just club members, though. Nobody, no, just club members for this. Someone was asking if you'll do the paper or not. The Horizontal, yes. The next paper pad. Oh, hang on. First, I want to show you this. So, this is the regular size. This is the add-on size. Cost me a lot more, but in your kit, it's the same price. Um, when you buy it separately, it does cost more because it costs me more. Um, but that's how big of a difference that is. Look how much extra, it's like 18 inches square that you get extra. Um, on this, when we designed this, right? So we designed it and we des I designed them all long ways, right? So that's that way. Um, well, those don't count because those are just coloring sheets, but this one's good for both ways. But what we discovered is, for example, on this, on this side, what we discovered is really you can only do this design tall ways. You can't do it sideways because it doesn't work, right? Because it would be backwards or it'd be sideways. So yes, we've learned. <laughs> we've learned. And the next pad in May is going to be this size. And because um, that's the next pad I'm working on, so we made it that's this size. And the designs will go, I, well, hang on. So far, I think every single design will be available to do this way or this way. I'm, I'm trying to think, I'm, I'm almost, I'm half, um, two thirds of the way done with that one. Yes, and I believe so far, every single one I've done will go both ways. So yes, learn, live and learn, right? <laughs> live and learn. Uh, yes, but that is true. They will all go the same way. So thank you. Um, we're, we're always learning, always learning. And I remember the day I said I'd never do pattern paper. Now I do one pad a month. Look at that. Huh. Never say never. Uh, let's see. Uh, Darlene says I was a paper pad hoarder this time. I ordered four extra because I love it. Thank you, Darlene. You're such a sweetheart. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm that type too. I like to have one pad 
that's like perfect and then I use one pad because it, then I don't I feel like I can save one just in case I, I don't know I do that too um, everybody's loving the new long paper pads thank you now to find a good storage option for that size Andy you know what I do though love bug you know what I do I still use and I don't have any in this one but I still use the six by six look I still use the six by six paper handler because it still does fit um, you know you can't lay it this way but it still does fit this way now if you wanted to hang on sneak peek time you guys always get to see all the sneak peeks this is the sample of our new box I mean our new well it's oh crud hang on I'm making a mess um, this is the big version of Karen because the Karen bag is for the small envelopes which is where's that here's one I have 10,000 Karen bags let me tell you okay so this one is you can kind of see the size difference can you see this can they see the size difference yeah you can um they hang on let's do it this way this might be better um so you can see the size di oh hang on see the size difference there oh wait, well that looks funny hang on pull it down so you can see okay so it's much larger I can't you really can, I don't know if you can really tell on camera how much larger it is it is much larger the point being um this stores that, well hang on I don't have a s small storage envelope that was the reason why I have like three Karen bags in that one thing here's the small st storage envelope from Stamps of Life that fits in the Karen the medium storage envelope fits in this one so there's a better um, size difference so you can kind of see see look that kind of helps I think maybe I don't know I can't tell it's hard to tell on camera oh there there that's a better whoops better view I'm trying to like find the better view the camera things are always look different but look there's a big difference and this bag you're gonna say when is that available yeah good luck I don't know I mean they've shipped it <laughs> it's out on one of those container ships <laughs> that are out in the ocean <laughs> and uh, who knows your guess is as good as mine but the point being the medium storage envelope fits in here and the reason why I even started bringing this up is because the six by nine pattern paper pads fit in there perfect look at that so if you want to store sideways store it in one of these bags and this bag is called hang on I gotta put this back um, this bag is called the Kirsten bag um, why is it called Kirsten because that's my daughter's name um, not Kristen Kirsten K-I-R-S-T-I-N and it's the Kirsten bag because uh, it's a big bag and Kirsten is my oldest and I always used to call her the big one because I called Katie the little one um, actually I called well I called her um, other stuff too but um, she was the Kirsten was the big one Katie is the little one so we're coming out with a big bag so that's Kirsten and then we're coming out with a smaller bag that does something else for stencils and that is gonna be called the Katie bag uh, so this bag when is it available who knows it will be in pink and black and uh, when we get it we'll release it this is the sample they sent me I just realized I told him I didn't get a sample of this I did but it was from Tiffany so technically that doesn't count right whoops I kind of accidentally lied on something because I told I told them Kenny that I didn't get the sample but Tiffany sent me her sample so at least we'll have a sample okay sorry Ken writes down all the stuff that I say because we got to remember I said it <laughs> uh, okay Kenny anything else yeah, like oh, kind of Kenny has a lot of questions sorry I've been talking too much the mouse pad is on Available on oh, the mouse pad is available on the website. Fantastic. Kenny can take that off our list. Thank you. What bag is it you wanted? What bag is it that I wanted? Crafters. Did you just ask me to get? No, I already asked her. I already asked her for this. Yeah, I already asked for that. Um, okay, well, you got your job. Um, Sandy joined the gold club and she's happy to sell the freebie stuff she got. So oh, Sandy joined the gold club. Welcome to the gold club. You're going big, right? That's awesome. The gold club, also known as the whole enchilada club. 
Yes, you do get a lot of freebies if you join one of our clubs. So yes, you got a lot of freebies. That's hey, Wendy awesome. Wendy used to be in the club. She wants to know if she's allowed to rejoin. Wendy used to be in the club and she wants to know if she's allowed to rejoin. Absolutely, my love. Of course you're allowed to rejoin. We want you back. We miss you. And make sure you also join our Facebook fan page. Um, we don't run it, but some great fans run it. April and Darlene and Kate, a whole bunch of girls uh, run it. I say girls, but you know, my age. Um, we all They all run it. We don't run it. Um, and it's a fantastic place to get together with people that like um, Stamps of Life and that are all positive. Every post is positive. Um, if it's not, people will report it. So it gets taken off. <laughs> um, yes, but of course, you're more than welcome to come back. Just go to our website, thestampsoflife.com. Click join the club and they'll, the computer will take care of it for you. Wanda wants to know if when you're out and about, do you ever get asked for autographs or photo ops? That's a, a timely question. Uh, who was that? Rhonda. Asked? Rhonda asked if when I'm out and about, do I ever get um, asked for photographs or um, autographs? Autographs? No, not yet. Oh, if I'm at a, if I'm at a convention, sometimes people will know who I am. However, we're renting a house right now, and um, there's like a little front yard. All, it's like literally right on the street, right? And so I was outside and I was just looking around. I was just trying to get some sun because I hadn't been, I had worked literally 12 hours yesterday at my desk and I was standing outside and um, it's like a place where people like to run and stuff. And this lady stopped running or jogging and she looked at me and she said, is your name Stephanie? And I said, uh, yeah, I go, that was a random question. And she said, I took a scrapbook class from you like six years ago. And I'm like, whoa, I go, you have a good memory. And I said that, and you have a good memory for faces because literally you guys wouldn't have believed what I look like. But yeah, that was a little, um, yeah, that happened. And another thing weird happened yesterday. Um, somebody got a man, somebody managed to get a hold of my cell phone number. Good times. Luckily, I don't answer my phone. No offense, but I don't answer my phone when my parents call. <laughs> um, I literally never answer my phone. I don't, I, I'm not a good person on the phone. I can't, I don't have, um, I can't do it. Um, but I uh, had a question about an order or something. I don't know how she got my cell phone number. Don't, don't search Stephanie's cell phone number. Do not call it. I'm actually going to change my number because somewhere my phone number is on the internet. <laughs> I can't have that. <laughs> No offense, don't take it personal. But um, I, again, I don't answer when anybody calls. The only time I answer is when my um, kids call because they know only call me if it's an emergency. Um, like for example, the time Kirsten called me and said, oh, it's not that, it, oh, well, it was like five o'clock in the morning, she texted me and I didn't get it. And she said, can you call me when you get a chance? And she said, it's not urgent. So I woke up about eight o'clock, I called her. I go, hey honey, what's going on? She goes, oh, well, it's not too important, but I'm in the emergency room and I need um, emergency ap appendix taken out. And I said, sweetheart, that is an emergency. When you're in the emergency room, that is considered an emergency and that means you need to call me and wake me up. Because um, my, my phone has this thing where it's silent for X amount of time. Actually, I need to turn that 100% all the time silent, but it's silent and a certain couple of phone numbers from family, if they call twice, then it'll automatically ring through. And I said, that's one of the times when you're in the emergency room, that's one of the times where you do that so I wake up. Um, yeah, poor kid. She said, well, I didn't want you to wake up early. <laughs> Bless her heart. That kid is such a perfect kid. <gasps> okay, sorry, what? Have you ever thought about doing a daffodil stamp set? A daffodil stamp set? I have not. That could be a great one. And I'm seeing a few comments that the shirts run very, very small. So if The shirts run very, very small. Yes, so. so yes, so order up. Order up or two, up one or two. Don't take it personally on the size, just do it and it'll make you happier. Um, it was weird, we ordered them the first time I placed a reorder and those shirts were out of stock so they substituted a different brand. Same color pretty much I think, but different brand. And I think those sizes were even more off. Um, it's crazy, but yes, yeah, so order up. There are going to be more do doily dies. There are going to be more doily dies, you guys. I'm telling you, I think I did eight total, six or eight. And we're releasing them one at a time because we don't want to overwhelm you with all of them because technically you want all of them. Um, but yeah, so we're doing one at a time and they are fantastic. They're, they're, I, I'm, I'm just really proud of those because, um, 
it's not something you normally see somebody design a doily like usually you'll just go get clip art and buy the design and, and do it we designed our own and um i'm excited about that i think it was debbie and a few other comments are asking where do we get the magnets for the calendar or where do we find the calendar or all that stuff on oh so there's a couple questions about where do we find the calendar or where do we get the items that go with the calendar so the calendar is available on our website what you're going to do is you're going to go to the left side and uh, under categories, and there's gonna be a blue button that says home decor for life. That's like the brand that we're using. So uh, you're gonna click on that, and right now it's gonna say um, magnetic calendars. There's also spaces for other items. February 15th, we're gonna be releasing a new line of things um, that will be uh, in the home decor section. Uh, but you can click on that, and you can, we. I did just see um, they're shipping more of the white and black calendars, so if they're out of stock, they just uh, charged my credit card um, for some more uh, of the white and black calendars and the big day tiles. More of those are coming. They still had more of those. I think I bought every single last one they had. Uh, yeah, so um, those are, uh, can you refresh that so I can see that again? Hang on. Okay, perfect. Uh, so we do have, What's getting low? I think. Okay, well, no, it looks like they, because the black are back in stock. So the white and black calendars are currently in stock right this second. So, uh, and the big day tile. So they must have gotten the palette. That's great. That's great. We do still have a limited amount of the January calendars that are exclusive to us. Remember, those also coordinate with our skinny mini dies, the letters. Uh, and those coordinate with our dies as well. And if you're saying, hmm, what dies do they coordinate with? Click on the January and it will show you down below what dies it coordinates with. So ours, 99% of the time, will coordinate with our dies that you already have, which is awesome. And eventually we're gonna come out with other pieces. We're gonna come out with uh, more background uh, wood pieces. We're gonna come out, we have, I, I have lots of plans, you guys, lots of plans. The problem is, is Stephanie gets an idea Stephanie wants it done today or tomorrow and in reality the reality of all of it is you can have it in three months <laughs> that's my problem I have no patience I want it now right we all want it now Amazon is, has proven we can have it in two days well not lately but yeah okay the extra word dies that were sold on HSN for the stand-ups are we going to carry those eventually the extra words on HSN that sold out, are we gonna carry those eventually? Yes. Anytime HSN has an exclusive on a product, they have an exclusive for a minimum of six months. After six months, then I'm allowed to um, offer it on my website. So yes, so like the stamp set, which hello you guys, it flew out the door also, um, mainly because it's an awesome stamp set, um, but it has it's a really fun um, like font and stuff. That sold out as well. Uh, right away. So both of those items will be available on our website probably right at the six month mark. Absolutely. Um, because those flew out the door before I could even go on. Also, that includes the double Z card that sold out. Uh, again, six months and then it'll be on our website. Um, but they get a minimum of six months and it was really awesome. They came back with the $5 shipping thing. So that was way better for everybody. I know I love that too. Yes, so, okay. What kind of dog is Cookie? What kind of dog is Cookie? Mm. Cook is a, uh, what? Crazy, <laughs> yes. Cookie is a Maltese. Uh, she weighs six pounds, but she's been at my parents' house for three weeks now. I have a feeling she's probably closer to seven pounds. My dad feeds her constantly, and my mom keeps yelling at him, stop feeding the dog! Um, and then she complains to me that my dad is feeding the dog too much. Um, my mom is also very upset because my dad now uh, does not watch TV with my mom because he wants to stay downstairs with the dog because it's closer to the potty where Cookie has to go potty. Um, obviously the dog is allowed upstairs, um, but he wants to be near the potty so if she ever has to go, she can walk outside and potty in their backyard. And he doesn't want her to have to go down the stairs and go back up the stairs. Uh, so my mom is not happy about that <laughs> because the dog is getting more attention than she is. Truth. <laughs> Are the calendars still on flash sale? Are the calendars still on flash sale? Yes, they are. Those calendars are still on flash sale. Um, 
two reasons. One, because I really want you to get into it and I really want you to um, have that extra value involved with the flash sale price. And two, we ran out of them so quickly when I first put them on the website that I was like, you know what? It's not fair because we literally had this many and I could have sold this many. And so I said, let's just keep it on flash for a little bit. Um, that was back in the beginning of January. Then I said, for sure it'll be on flash until the 15th. Well, the 15th has come and gone and it's still on flash. I'm probably going to leave it on flash the whole month. So uh, if you can, get it now. Also, when you order the calendar, make sure your order is $100 after all discounts because you don't want to pay shipping. You want me to pay the shipping. Shipping, I think, is like $17 bucks if you just buy the calendar. Okay, so get your order up to $100 after shipping in the U.S. Then you're going to get that... Um, free shipping. That means Kenny and Stephanie pay it. Okay. Which is good for you. <laughs> but Don says she has a 15 pound cat. Don has a 15 pound cat. Your 15 pound cat could take out my six pound dog. <laughs> Tony bought two of the calendars. She wants to know where she could find more of the blank squares. Is there a way to do that? More of the blank squares. Uh, I don't know if they carry those. I will have to ask. Write that down, Kenny. I will have to ask. I don't know if they sell those separately. They have the big day tiles. I don't know if the big day tiles come with extra pieces. Um, extra wood tiles. I don't know. And the double Z? Double Z will be on our website in approximately six months. They have a six month exclusive. Do you think HSN will order more? Do I think HSN will order more? I never know. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. It did go on the air. Sometimes if it doesn't get to go on the air, I honestly, I saw how many they had left before I went on the air and I told Kenny, I'm not going to go on the air. And I got to, which was exciting, but literally wasn't that the one where I got cut off? It was like within two minutes, they're all gone. Yeah, they didn't have very many left. Lady Jane wants to know, how do you place the reviews on HSN? She says she can't find it. Oh, how do you place the reviews on HSN? Good question. I don't know. Don't be me. You have to buy, have bought. Yeah, you have to have bought the item. So if you bought the item on HSN, if you're in your account I, on hsn.com, there should be a spot where you can maybe click on that item again and it'll say, hey, you bought this item. Do you, wanna, um, do you want to uh, rate it or whatever it, I don't know, review it, I guess, product review. Yes, yeah, so please try to leave those product reviews on HSN. They really, really do help us. And also if you click heart on those items, that really does help us. Anytime, anytime, this is crazy, but anytime you see Stamps of Life online, like it or click it or comment or, or do something because that tells like Facebook example, if you follow us on Facebook, we have like 20,000 followers on Facebook and about 500 out of 20,000 get to see our posts. Facebook's mean. <laughs> uh, Instagram's kind of the same way. So if you like our posts on our, um, on our normal Facebook page, you will see more of them. So anytime um, you do a like or a heart or a share or anything or a comment, it tells the com it tells the company that you do that with hey these people are important and then um they'll say well if mary likes this company maybe barbara will like this company so uh, mary liked it so we'll show it to barbara because barbara will probably like it because mary liked it crazy huh but it's true so anytime you see our stuff i would love if you just like liked it or whatever it is if it's a like thumbs up or a heart or a share or a comment, just write a comment, say, hey, cool. Anything like that, it goes up in the ratings. I know, is that crazy? I know, but it's true. Like on our videos, if you if you say, love the video or something like that, after the chat's over and just go, once the video's on there, just go to all our videos and say, cool idea or love it or anything, boom, it helps us. Crazy, huh? I know, it's crazy. I should hire someone to do that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what? Um, Denise says she, it just hit her anniversary. When does the gift get? being a club member for being whatever year. When is awesome. So Denise has an anniversary with the Stamps of Life on her club membership. Fantastic. Well, I mean, thank you for being a club member for at least a year. Uh, it's automatic. I believe on Die Hard Club members and Stamp Club members, it's like the 14th of the month. And for Kit Club members, those gift certificates go out 
like the 25th, I think, of the month. So uh, the reason why, and I'll be honest with you guys because I try to be as honest as I always can, the reason why it takes so long in the month is because it needs to, the computer needs to make sure that every account is in good standing before it sends that account, the, the gift code out. So for example, if you're in um, the club, but your account's suspended because your credit card has a new expiration date or something like that, then it's not, it wants to wait to give you time to fix that so it can send out your gift certificate code. So that's why it's waiting for it to like um, collab, um, what's it called when you have to like, Calibrate it. Calibrate it. Does that make sense? Okay. Robin says her card kit was just delivered. Robin said her card kit was just delivered. Yes. I know. That's so fun. I know. Happy Mail is so good. Yeah, Happy Mail is so good. Uh, she's a club member in New Zealand. She wants to know if we're going to be selling the HSN truck pretty soon. What's the status? Of what was her first name? Melissa. Melissa in New Zealand. Melissa, someday I'm going to come visit you. Um, I was supposed to go to New Zealand when I went to Australia, but uh, Kirsten was with me. She was a senior in high school at the time, so it was a good 10 years ago now. And uh, she didn't want to miss one of the finals in her class, so we did not go to New Zealand. Kid's nuts. Now I bet she's disappointed she didn't go. The kid cared. I, I was one of those people, I'm gonna get to your question in a second. I was one of those people when she was in like second grade, we had Disneyland passes and I said, KJ, do you wanna go to school today or do you wanna go to Disneyland with mommy and Katie? She goes, I wanna go to school. Where did the kid come from? Again, I go, KJ, she's a senior in high school, KJ, we're going to go to Australia, just you and me, sweetheart, for a whole week. And I said, and if we want, after that week, we can fly over to New Zealand for three days, all paid, because at the time I was working for Sizzix as their spokesperson, I said, all paid, I just have to pay your flight, the rest is all paid for, mine's all paid for, we can go to New Zealand for three days. And she said, no, I need to go back to school because I have a final to take. I'm going to yell at her about that. Remind me tomorrow to yell at her about that. <laughs> So, back to your question. Um, the HSN pickup truck is going to be available soon. I believe it is sold out on their website. Am I right about that? Um, write that down, Kenny. We need to check that to make sure that's on our calendar. Truck. <coughs> truck. What I say? I don't know. It's just oh, truck. Yeah, truck. But yes, it will be on our website. Website, and if it's not on our website on the, my release schedule, um, that's behind the scenes. I will count back the six months and find out where I can put it on the website. We have any new ink colors coming. New ink colors coming. Yes, you guys, listen to this. During tomorrow, I mean, during next week's class, I will be releasing the next seasonal kit that is a special purchase, and it will be released first to our um, class participants. And inside that will be a new color. A new color will be announced, and you'll get to get that color in ink pad form and refill form if you buy that kit that will be available next Thursday night. And then, are we gonna make a, I, I know the answer, but are we gonna make an envelope die for the slim line? It's too big. I are we gonna make an envelope die for the slim line? Well, I tried. I tried really hard. Uh, the, the die, the, if I were to make it like a regular one, like a real envelope, uh, it takes bigger than eight and a half by 11. And so uh, I was working on one that takes an eight and a half by 11 and you literally would like fold a little flap here, fold this flap in, fold this flap in, fold this flap in. And I could not get it to where it was smaller than eight and a half by 11. Because keep in mind, yes, eight and a half by 11 goes through a machine, but for the die to work, you literally had to put it perfectly on either edge and use these edges for the cutout, the die cut cutout. And there's too many problems with user error, meaning failing will have 50 emails a day. This die doesn't work because you literally have to use both edges in your final cutout. Um, I'm working on trying to tweak that but I have not been able to find a good solution. So until then, go to Office Max, buy a pack of 100 envelopes for $2. I know it bites, but that's the best I can do for now. I'll keep, I'll keep working on it. I'll keep working on it. 
it's close, but it's just not. I, you, I'm so picky. I'm really picky, you guys. You guys have no idea how many times um, I, I, um, I will turn down something. I'll, I'll, like I'll design it and I'll go, nope, not good. Uh, not good. Not good. Yeah, it happens a lot. Okay, Kenny. I think that's it. I think that's it, he says. Okay. So after we say goodbye here, Kenny and I are going to reset all the cameras because when we videotape videos, the whole configuration is different than when we do live videos. Um, it's crazy. I know. It's all crazy. Luckily, I don't have to think about it. It's all Kenny's job, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, but tomorrow, I'm going to see my babies. I'm going to ask Kirsten if I can get it on videotape of them drinking, the, I mean, eating the um, whipped cream, at least Liam, because he's so freaking funny when he does it. Um, but thank you all for your love, your support, and your prayers. Um, I know I always say that really fast, but every single word, your love, your support, and your prayers. Um, it means the world to us. Uh, I, yeah, like when that lady stopped me when I was in the front yard and said, is your name Stephanie? I literally like was stunned the rest of the day. It, it, that you would spend an hour with me on a Thursday it means the world to me. Um, in high school, I was not very popular. <laughs> That's true, actually. And so, like, I feel like we have our own little, just like our own social club. And take out all the, the um, stamp club and the die club and the kit club. But we have our own social club. And I love that. I love, even though I might not ever meet some of you in person, we still know each other. And I love that. That's that's one of the best parts. I mean, I try to look at the bright side of the virus. That's one of the bright spots because if I was traveling every week like I used to, I would never get to do this with you. We never did live videos. Before I stopped traveling because the babies were gonna be born, the babies started the live videos. We never did live videos. Ever, did we ever do live videos? I can't think of ever doing live videos, Kenny, before the babies. I mean, we, it, we just didn't do it. And so it's more fun because we get to communicate a little bit better and, and things like that. So um, I get to spend more time with you, which is good, which is very good. So again, thank you for your love, your support, and your prayers. They mean the world to us. Um, I hope you all stay well and stay healthy. I will see you Monday for a No Makeup Monday, and I get to show you the little goodies that people have been sending me. You don't need to send me gifts. You guys are too nice to me. You're very too nice to me, but I want, I like to show them off just so, um, I could show them off. So thank you all so much. I will see you Monday. Have a great weekend. Stay healthy, and I will see you Monday here for a No Makeup Monday. Okay? Thanks. Bye-bye.